This is part two of my JBC solder station adapter build. Today we're going to be looking at the electronics that are going to fit inside this little box that I printed in the previous video. So uh, what we've got here, we've got an Arduino Uno, some wiring on the breadboard and I've also got a dual relay which is going to switch both of the cartridges over that are going to be inside this little box and kept to the station. So what I've got here is the 80 mega 328p on the Arduino which is the development board so I'm eventually going to take the chip off and move it into a piece of prototype board and then squeeze it all in here but um, on this breadboard I've got some wires which basically simulate two switches so each one of these is a switch and we've got a couple of pull up resistors on each one some 10k's so as soon as I pull these out the Arduino is going to register that I've pressed the button or flick the switch then it's going to uh, turn on these two relays so it flicks the load over. This this can be done with discrete logic as well it doesn't necessarily need to be a microcontroller but this is what I had available and I thought I'd use it in case I want to uh, increase the capability of it later on. But uh, yeah basically what I've got is these two orange wires each one simulates one of the tools so if I pull one out you see that the relays both turn on put it back in relays turn off can basically just keep doing that all day <laughs> and on the other side the same thing because it is an all gate so any one of these inputs can be activated and it will activate the relay so that's the basic system so now I'm going to uh, remove the 80 mega 328p put it on a piece of proto board and get it compressed into here so I've just got the 80 mega 328p mounted on the uh, piece of proto board. I've also marked out the pins that I'm going to be using. So I've got the digital two. I have the power, the ground, the crystal, and pin seven and pin eight. So I've just tacked that uh, IC on there. I also need to add some extra pieces. I've got a 16 megahertz crystal and two. 22 picofarad capacitors and that should uh, that should do it and then I'm just going to uh, attach that onto the side of my relay and uh, we'll see if it works here's the board after I've tidied it up I've got the dual relays on this side here's the 80 mega 328 p and its supporting components and I've also got a couple of little pin headers here which actually join the, uh, the switches that's basically where the irons uh, join so they go across like that there's two of them and the back side just got a few pull down resistors and that's about it I've tested it and it works so next stage is to look at inserting it into here it's going to fit something like that it's on the little box. I've also reprinted these hand pieces. This is one of the original ones, the uh, the full black ones. I've also changed the design slightly. Um, I've now got my green filament, which I was going to put on the uh, new hand pieces, so they look more official. And uh, I've also got my aluminium pipe, which slides in the front, which does the tip to ground system so that the stand knows that it's out of the stand so here's my, my new one it's got the uh, the green and I've also got some uh, Ninja Flex rubber 3D printed rubber on the back for strain relief just like the, uh, the official one here's my aluminium pipe which connects to my ground and I've got the cartridge so that they click in and out I had just made my own connectors for this so uh, I got some sheets of brass and cut them up into strips and bent them so that they grab on the cartridge. As you can see, if I put the cartridge in loosely, it will spin. And then when I press it in, it doesn't spin, so that shows it's grabbing. I'm just going to disassemble this one just to show the system inside. There is a loose wire in here because it connects to this top bit and I've just wrapped it around and stuffed it in. But when I pull this off it will become loose so I'll need to rewrap it after. See so yes, this one 
which was just wrapped in the inside of there very tightly. But uh, there's three connectors, little strips of brass that I've cut and bent, and they move. They move ever so slightly when I when I put the cartridge in. It's probably going to be very difficult to capture this on camera, but they move ever ever so slightly. But that's how I've done my little uh, connectors. So I've cut and bent the brass and then just glued them down with super glue. And that seems to work perfectly. Of course it's possible with these cartridges because the um, the heat elements are only at the tip so the back doesn't really get very hot. And this ABS plastic can sustain quite high heat like relative to the, the back of the iron. So um, that's how these are constructed. So this is the nearly completed iron. I've got my um, my two new hand pieces, of course with the green in the stand. As you can hear the relays are clicking when I move this out because it's switching the power over. But um, I may need to tweak the code a bit more because the relays flick very quickly. Um, so as soon as this moves, it go instantly. I might put a small delay in there. Well, I do have a, a tiny delay at the moment about 200 milliseconds but I want to maybe increase that a bit just so it uh, just so it doesn't click so much it's only just for the noise it doesn't really affect the operation a bit but um, as you can see my aluminium pipe with the wire wrapped on the inside as soon as it touches the stand it changes the relay state through the, uh, the Arduino I still need to print a um, a better box for this and a new lid because it is a bit flimsy so that's something I'll do over time but I've got these two hand pieces plugged in the back and I've got my uh, original tweezers plugged in the side as you may have seen just then um, the main stand doesn't actually come out of uh, sleep mode when I lift these off so that's something I also need to readdress um, because there's there's also the original wire that's in the stand which goes to this piece of metal up here where the tweezers are so as soon as you lift the tweezers out that tip to ground system is disconnected but of course when I have that in and lift this off that system is still there even though it switches the heat over here it doesn't know that the, that the iron is that technically at the stand because it switched the power to here but it's still in sleep mode because that's still connected so what I also need to do is attach another small relay just in there just a very low power relay just something pretty dinky because it's just a sensor wire and um, I need to make it so this Arduino also controls that third relay just so it disconnects this as soon as I lift this off so as well as doing these it will just do that one at the identical time so this is all free then that will tell it that it's out of sleep mode then as soon as I put this back in it will go back to its current state the heating works at the moment like as soon as I lift this off it goes to 180 degrees as the um, the stand says is the sleep temperature but it doesn't get to full heat unless this is disconnected when that's disconnected it jumps up to its maximum heat there's also another thing I need to do with this because um, my actual controller is powered off 5 volts and at the moment I've got that running from a external 5 volt source to this so there's the power station for the original stand and I have a separate 5 volts coming from another plug socket going into this so what I want to also do is put a, a small uh, 4 way audio jack or something similar in the back of this stand so I can plug it in and take the 5 volts off the main regulator out of here and also feed this one. I'll probably do that at the same time as when I do my internal relay which I'll switch in and out. But um, that's it for this part. So in the next part I'll uh, look at reprinting this, making it stronger and uh, I'll get another relay so I can put another relay in internally and I'll look at sourcing some some little jacks so I can uh, have one plug that joins all the connections because I, at the moment I've got two connections at the back that are loose which is just my power and my ground my 5 volts 
So I'll then have my power and ground and I'll also have another power line which is just dedicated for that internal relay so it'll be just free, free to connect. So I'll get a, uh, another jack plug for that but overall I'm pretty happy with the way this project has gone. I think these irons are looking, looking really nice. So uh, now I'm just going to show a quick demo of just soldering things onto a board just showing how convenient the system can be. So this is how the system can be used. I've got my original tweezers and of course I can I can lift any any of these uh, components off the board pretty easily and quickly. Now if I just put them down I'm not going to put them in the stand because it will tell the other ones to go at sleep temperature so I'm just going to rest them on my desk. So if I rest them over there and pick up one of my other irons. This is now at full temperature already so you can see I can I can melt things with this one as well. And the beauty of this system is because I've got two I can of course get both of them and use two at the same time so I can add additional heat to things or I can use them in the identical way as the tweezers. So if I find something to lift off, I can use them in the same way and just lift components off. Exactly the same as I would with the tweezers. It's very handy. But um, this is also a very good convenience thing so I can keep different tips in each one. I can keep one with like maybe a fat tip and another one with a thin tip and just grab whichever one you need. So put that one back in the stand and this one is of course still hot. You have to excuse all these uh, arrows all over the board because I've been harvesting parts off these uh, off these old circuit boards but the system seems to be working very well. So I have to chuck that back in. And as soon as I've chucked it back in, I'll grab the tweezers, try and lift another part off. Straight away that's off. So it instantly just reheats back up. The stand doesn't even notice the difference between the relay switching. So uh, that's it for this video, thanks for watching.